Hi guys, Emma here. So for today's video, we are going to be drawing easy florals for your bullet journals. Now, a lot of people have asked me how I do florals in my bullet journals, so I thought, why not share that with you? I absolutely adore floral designs in my bullet journals. I adore floral designs full stop. And they don't have to be complicated. They can be really, really easy to draw. So I'm gonna show you the way that I draw flowers. So we're gonna start off with a basic flower today, and that's a lissom. And for drawing, I don't go in with a pencil first, but if you want to go in with a pencil and then ink over your work afterwards, that's absolutely fine. But I'm going to be using my trusty Pigma Micron pens, which look like this. These are from Sakura and they are the best fine liners that I've found. They're archival ink, they're waterproof, the lines are fade proof, and they come in a variety of sizes. So on the side, I don't know if you'll be able to see because this is extremely fine print, but on the side it tells you, so this one for example is 01, and that's a 0.25 millimeter line. And they go from 005 up to 08. So that's 0.25, millimeter line on the 005 and a 0.5 millimeter line on the 08. So for this exercise I'm just going to be using a 005 and a 01 and the reason that I'm going to be using different sizes is to add dimension, to add different weights of line to the flowers to really try to bring them to life. So let's get cracking. So as I said this flower is a listen and we're going to be starting off with a 01 fine liner and that is 0.25 millimeter. So let's zoom you in just a little bit so that you can see exactly how I'm working. Now I do have to tilt my paper to the side to work. I can't draw straight on so I do apologize for that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with a sort of a wiggly oval shape and that's for the center of my flower. Can you see that or should we bring you in slightly more? Let's do a bit more. Okay that's as close as we're going to get now. So next thing we're going to add some stamens into the middle so we're going to do a centre circle and then we're going to do six little circly shapes around that. Not perfect circles, sort of wonky circles if you like. So there we go. Then we're going to start with adding the petals. Now when I add the petals a tip for you is, first of all, I add the petal, if there are any petals, that don't have any other petals overlapping first. And the reason for that is, is because it's one continuous line with that petal. With petals that overlap, you've got to go from where another petal's already started. So, we're going to start with a petal that doesn't have anything overlapping it. And we're just going to make that petal shape. Now Alyssum only has four petals, so that's pretty easy. So the next petal is gonna be the top petal, and this is overlapped by the previous petal we've just drawn. So let's go and draw the next petal. There we go. And then we will continue, and we'll sort of start from around halfway of this petal mark and bringing it up and then the last petal. Now the last petal is overlapped by both of the side petals so we are just joining a line there And there we go, we have our petals. Now for all of that, I was just using the 01. Didn't change my pen at all. Now I'm going to change my pen. So we're going to go with the 005. And now I'm going to add some detail to sort of make my flower a bit more lifelike. 
So first of all, I'm going to draw some fine lines and I'm going to draw those fine lines from the center of the flower and flicking them and coming out. Now that's why I'm using my 005 because that's the finest fine liner that they do. So let's start by literally flicking out some fine lines. Follow the shape of the petal so that your lines are going in the direction that the petal flows. There we go, should we bring that a little bit closer so you can see? Okay, and then we'll continue on with the next one. And then down to the bottom. Make some of them shorter than others as well. They're not all going to be the same length, so you don't have to worry about anything being perfect. And then on to the last one. There we go, so already we're starting to build up some dimension to our flower. Now I'm going to add something called stippling to the flower. Now for anybody that doesn't know, stippling is basically drawing with small dots. So using small dots you can obtain some really good gradients. So I use stippling for shadow. So I can go from a very very dark shadow and fade it out to a very light shadow by doing a series of small dots. I wish I could zoom you in a little bit more. Oh I can, I can, I can. Excellent. Right, so I can really show you what I'm doing now. Brilliant. So, for my stippling I'm going to be adding it to the areas of the petals where the petals overlap. So here for example, <coughs> sorry, this petal overlaps this one. So I'm going to start right in this corner here and I'm going to start applying tiny dots into that corner and I'm going to add quite a lot of them close to where the petals touch. So keeping that area quite dark and adding a lot of dots and then as I get further into the middle I'm adding less dots and fading that out. So we're giving a lovely cast shadow here from the petal on the top, as you can see, just by the use of small dots. Now again, so I'm going to add some stippling here because this petal overlaps here, keeping it lots of dots close to the edge of the petal and then fading them out as I come in. So there we have it. So you can already see that we've got some dimension now. These two petals actually look like they're overlapping this underneath one. So again this is the overlap so let's start our stippling right down there in the corner with our dark dots and fading it out as we come away and then the last overlap is here You have to excuse me, my little baby Marshall is playing with his squeaky toy. So he's a little bit noisy. Baby, dog baby, not real baby, <laughs> just to clarify. 
Okay, so that's the last overlap. So we now have stippling on our petals. Next, I'm going to add some stippling to the centre here so that we can give the illusion of depth. Okay, so all the way around the edge of this sort of wonky circle, we're going to go in with dark dots and then we're going to fade them out towards the centre. So let's start our dark dots. And of course we are going to miss out those stamens that we drew in. We don't want the dots to go on there. Now stippling can be quite time consuming but it's a really lovely effect and you know you've put a lot of effort into this when you've sat there stippling for ages but it's worth it now i could go in and use a bigger fine liner for this i could have used my zero one but my dots might be too big as i'm trying to fade them out towards the center so i prefer to spend a bit more time and stay with a finer pen then to go in heavy handed and spoil the look. So there we go, so there is our first complete flower. Now if you feel, as I do at the moment, that you've lost any definition from the outside lines, you can always go back in with your zero one one and just trace over the line that you created originally. This is something that I tend to do a lot if I feel that my stippling is overtaken and as you can see that's again just adding more depth so then I will go over just to that point just to there and to there and that's it that's all there is to that flower so if you want to then go on to draw a cluster of those flowers, you can put them together and make a lovely arrangement with them. And then you can rotate the flower so that the petals aren't always facing this way. You can draw them diagonally, whatever, you can put them together. But yeah, so that is it for Alison. So I hope you'll join me on the next video and we'll do another flower and then eventually, once we've done a few, we'll bring it all together and start creating some borders for your bullet journals and some corner embellishments and then we'll also do some cover page designs, maybe using some negative space letters and stuff. So lots of fun stuff planned. So thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye!